Kentuck Park. You're probably familiar with that, right in the Northport area. A great, uh, the Kentuck Festival is here. A great deal of great baseball is played here. But where I am now is 1.3 acres that a group has a vision to be full of bamboo. Jamie Chicatello with the group Black Belt Bamboos. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming. And, and tell me what your vision is for the acreage you have here at Kentuck Park. Well, as you said, we have 1.3 acres. And so what we plan to do is to plant 15 different types of bamboo. Okay. We want this to be a teaching tool for the farmers in the Black Belt and just for the public to see what we can do with bamboo, how it's sustainable, how it's low maintenance. Mm -hmm. And hopefully we can help build... Um, excitement about it so we can make it uh, actually agri agricultural yeah. agri agroforestry exactly thank you Dave. Yeah, yeah. easier for you to say yeah. i'm glad you tried that about it, yes. uh, let me ask you uh, globally because I, I don't know how uh, how much we do with bamboo here in the state of alabama but i know there are regions of the world that bamboo is is just vital and, uh, and key so yeah. so what are the different uses for bamboo um we can use it anywhere from paper to clothes to timber to wood for flooring mm -hmm. bamboo shades Right. If you go to your local Chinese restaurant, look, you'll see that most of the dishes have bamboo in them. Right, bamboo okay. Bamboo shoes. Uh, and you've got some examples of what, are these the type yeah. of plants that will be right here? Yes, these are some of the 15 plants that will be showcased. Um, the small ones here are shrubs. And you can see bamboo comes in all different shapes and sizes, just not the stuff in the back of your house. That right, you uh, -huh. uh So this here is actually kind of velvety on the other underside. This one's striped. The negra here, when it gets bigger, it actually becomes black. And then we also have the mozo, and um, what they found out is that mozo grows to its full potential right here in the Black Belt and, and nowhere else in the United States. And this is mozo right here? Yes, sir. And it well, grows to um, 7 inches in diameter and 75 feet tall. And the thing about bamboo is that it's, once it's established, it's dr drought tolerant. And you can use every single part of the plant. And, and this is a partnership with the Friends of Northport. Do they kind of help you guys as well? Yes. The Friends yeah. of Historic Northport are, are the ones that um, gave us the land. And um, it was actually land bequeathed to them by um, Asia Roundtree. And, and, and it's a neat story how this came about because a, a, a professor at the university, is that kind of what sparked it? Yes. Dr. Marcy Coons came to me one day um, and said, do you want to build a, a bamboo park? And I said, sure. And I said, have you ever built a park before? She goes, no. So I said, let's do it. And so that's kind of the spirit behind it. You know, she's very community minded. She learned about bamboo. She learned that it actually could um, be a game changer for the state of Alabama in the Black Belt region. And she said, we could build this park. We can teach people all about it. And I was on board. So, so you're saying from like the soil and the climate are yeah. perfect for the growth of bamboo? Yes. And, it, and it's scientifically proven. Right. So. Yeah. That's uh, 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 amazing. Now, um, you'll have 15 different varieties yes, of these. Sir. Is that basically it? But, but, yes, but we're also going to have a sculpture garden. We're also going to have a pavilion. Um, it's going to be a showcase here in Northport. We want to make Northport a destination. And sometimes when we talk about all the nuts and bolts about it, we forget that we just really want to have a beautiful park where people can come and mm -hmm. be inspired and say, oh, wow, like this is really good what's going on in Alabama. Uh -huh. It's just not all about barbecue and football. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It's bamboo. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, just add bamboo to it. Well, fantastic. If our viewers, um, well, before we get sent to your website, sure. all that is in the way of making this happen is about $80,000 that you're trying to raise. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So so um, that is the key at this point, really the fundraising yeah. mode of this. Yes. Yeah. Lewis Bamboo has donated um, a dollar for dollar for the plant, so all we have to do is come up with $80,000 to get this planted, and we want to get most of it planted by October for the Kentuck Festival, okay. just to help showcase our yeah. So, and, and what a great investment, because this is, this will be here. I mean, it, this yeah. is an investment that will outlast you and yeah. I. Yeah. You know, it's just going to be good here. Way. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. If our viewers want more information, how can they help you all out at Black Belt Bamboos? They go to www.blackbeltbamboos.org, right. and there's donate buttons there and about the history, and they'll answer your questions. Yeah, you, you need to check it out. Um, fantastic what you guys are doing. We're going to come back when whenever um, you start planning, all right? Okay, good. Get an update. Yes, yeah, please Amy, do. thanks so much. Thank you so much. And best of luck with this. BlackBellBamboos.org. Yeah. That's the website. Go ahead and head there now. Stay tuned. We're coming right back.